happy Sunday! Super Bowl Sunday! Super Bowl Sunday! What day is it? Sunday! Sunday! Which means, yes, beginning of the month, uh, we go our monthly grocery shopping. Well, it's actually the second week of the month. Well, it's beginning. Guess what next week is? Valentine's Day. Guess who works all week? Guess who has to deliver flowers on Saturday? I do! Polly does! For it. Yeah. Well, it makes you. people happy. Well, that actually, doesn't that make you feel good, delivering flowers? Yeah, but then, then they go, oh, these flowers aren't fresh. And go, is that my fault? You're like, I'm just a delivery guy. <laughs> the messenger. I'm just the UPS guy. Um, does that re <laughs> does that remind you of when you used to deliver for seltzers? Yeah, that was awesome. Naked girls answering the door. Polly has the weirdest look. Yeah. Would you like to see it? I'm sorry, I don't have a tip. Are these okay? <laughs> And in Paris, all get. Are you kidding me? I'm sure yeah. he turned all different shades of. An 18 year old girl going, yeah, right. right. You're like, oh, blah, 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 blah. actually, back then I was 20 years with the. Was that 20 years ago? Yeah, uh, pretty much. Yeah. 20 years like, ago. It was 20 years ago today. So we have three stops to make. First one's going to be Veggie World. Sweet then uh, Aldi, and then Stop and Shop. And different places have different stuff. There are some things that are on sale at Stop and Shop we want to pick up. There are a couple of staples we need to get at Aldi. I'm going to hope, fingers, fingers crossed. We're not fingers going to Staples though. No. Okay. Why is my back window scraping? Can you shut that off? The, it's right here. No, that's the front. <laughs> oh, no. Blade? Oh, what, did the blade fall off? Ripped. Yeah. Lovely. So um, we had snow Friday. Wait, Friday? It's almost all gone. No, was the snow snow stores from on Friday? Yeah. And we're supposed to have snow the next three days. Yeah, so like an inch here, two inches. Yeah, there. but it's really just more of an anno annoyance than anything else. Yeah, so um, yeah, um, Pax Tony Phil, you lied through your teeth. No, you saw. You said there's going to be more winter coming. No. No, it's the complete opposite, and we were all like, "Yeah, because it's been fabulous he's, and he's warm." Wrong. It's seven percent of the time, so it's a rodent. It's a rodent. Like, how much meteorolo meteorological knowledge does a rodent Meteor have? Meteorological. Meteor. Uh, it's a mouthful. Anyway, so we're gonna go in there first. Okay. Good luck. Uh, we just left Aldi. And oh my god, talk about embarrassing. We're in between cars, our car and the car next to us. Polly leans on the car next to us. And farted. And farted without even noticing that somebody's sitting in that car. And, well, <laughs> I don't think you really mind because the windows are up, but if his <gasps> wife or something is out there. OMG. Should you reenact it? No, 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 do not reenact it, please. There's no need to. Instant replay, so uh, Polly's gonna run into uh, Price Chopper because filet mignon's eight dollars off yeah. per pound. Don't get a big piece, please. Just get a little piece. And uh, so we can eat it like you know for Valentine's Day next Saturday. Yeah, maybe that would be, that'd be good. Yeah, it will last that long, right? Oh yeah, I can marinate it during the week. Um, and he's gonna drop me off a Dollar Tree. Two birds, one stone, fourth and fifth stops, and then we have one final stop, which is stop and chop. And then we can come home because I have to pay bills before five, and Polly has to go pick up his football party food, food to go at some place. Careful, there's a cyclist. So, yeah. And yes, we have the window open in the cart. Honey, uh, there's a cyclist who's really in the road. Going the other way lane just to be safe. Um, it's 43 degrees outside. So we're enjoying the fresh air while we can. And by fresh air, I mean away from his farts. Look at the gorgeous sunset. So we've come home between shopping to have something to eat. <laughs> so we wouldn't be hungry and buying crap. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, now we're full and we can go finish our shopping. So we've already been to Veggie World, Aldi, Price Chopper, and Dollar Tree. So our last 
uh, shop for the day is at Mukin Token. Mukin Token Stop and Shop. <laughs> And when we come back home, I have to throw laundry in. I'll show you what we bought. And I'll probably do a meal plan tonight in my office with my Filofax all ready to go. You can have meals with us. Well, no, I thought uh, people have been asking to share our meal plan for the week. And I thought it would be apropos after we do the That's grocery what, shopping. We, we never used to do that, but now we do. She, she asked me what I want for for. for food in the next week and we come up with a plan all week and I usually even come up with a plan for leftovers oh. because that way nothing goes to waste I don't know about anybody else but I always feel this enormous amount of guilt throwing any good food away or letting food go to waste by sitting in the refrigerator until it's bad and no longer edible uh, because it makes me think how wasteful it is and how we just need to plan better, and I have one poly over to eating leftovers. We used to, uh, like they say, we used to get two steaks, big steaks, and, and uh, eat half one of them, and then uh, the other one would go in the fridge. And, you know, yeah, now, now we, we now we take one steak and we half. cut it in half. So it's just it's smarter use of particularly the proteins, and we're trying to eat a lot less animal protein. Um, we all, you know, do we eat a lot meatless. more vegetables than we ever have. Yeah, and we do a lot of meatless meals, and like last night's yeah, dinner. Foods. Yeah, last night's dinner was uh, meatless pasta with delicious really olives good. and mushrooms and spinach. It was really well, good. I thought that was Meatless Monday. No, because that was Meatless Saturday. Oh. Meatless Monday comes in between Sunday and Tuesday. No way. Yeah, every week. When did that happen? Every week. Uh, so since I still have the butternut squash, that's going to be the uh, meatless Monday meal. I'm going to roast it, uh, use a small portion of it to... That's not the whole thing. You're going to make a couple of meals out of that. I'm going to prep the whole thing. Save some of it in the freezer. No, I'm going to cut, dice it. Well, I'll show it in the video tomorrow. Because it's just this giant but, um, butternut squash and I don't... Once you cut into it, you, once you've broken the natural seal, <laughs> that's it, because it's going to start going bad because oxygen hits it. So I'm going to prep some of it into dice and put it in the freezer so I can use it easily in stews or soups. Um, and then some of it I'm going to roast the way you wanted with some brown sugar and mm. uh, salt and pepper. And, butter. and Yeah. And the rest of it is going to oh. go into butternut squash soup, so that means I have to put it in a bread the multi-seed bread tonight. What, the butternut? To have with soup tomorrow. Oh, the, oh, the bread, bread. Yeah, bread. To make bread in the bread maker. We just had soup today, which was pretty yeah, good. Yeah, that was pleasant surprise. We got, we got actually got it from, uh, from uh, the club I'm at. Yeah, where Paulie had his um, football, dinner. football dinner. So, yeah, and I guess we're kind of at optimum time to come shopping because People are running home to go to the game. Hey, and... go, shoo, shoo. <laughs> All right, oh, let's, let's go to Stop and Shop. I'm going to try my new app today. Uh, bonus buys? Empty. Okay. I just want to try my scan app. It has to connect to the local store Wi-Fi, so now I can scan. Blueberries, $4.99 each. Buy one, get one. We're back home from our marathon grocery shop for the month. Um, got, this is um, from Veggie World. A couple of lemons. Some of these sweet potatoes. I'm not sure why they're labeled this way. It says microwavable. Uh, basically all potatoes are microwavable. Poke a couple of holes in them, wash them, but I like having sweet potatoes on hand, so I got three of those. A couple of garlic cloves, knob of fresh ginger. Uh, two peppers because I'll be making stuffed peppers this week. Some, okay, this is what I call it. <laughs> Our produce place packs up these move now uh, packages of veggies. So essentially if anything is like icky on the outside, they cut it away, cut it away, and then pack it up. So these onions are perfect for cooking. And they were 99 cents for four of them. And then I also got a bag of broccoli last week it was $1.49 the week before it was $1.99 now it's $1.29 and it's perfectly fine so I'm going to this is um, easily two meals for us two sides or sides for two meals so that's easy so that's from Veggie World 
Uh, Mozzie's helping me unpack. So we got two boxes of Capri Sun. One is lemonade, the other one is wild cherry. A bag of romaine hearts. And then this is all from Stop and Shop. Organic or Nature's Promise Organic Baby Arugula was a dollar off, which was a nice treat. I'm gonna eat this, we're gonna eat this in the next couple of days to make sure it doesn't go south. The smoked Nova, the salmon, Nova is the lighter sodium one, was on sale for $5.99 for four ounce package. The classic crab, or crab classic imitation crab, or buy one, get one. They're a really nice little protein snack. So got that. Yeah, some uh, thin Oreos, two container, two packages. They were two for six, and we had a dollar twenty-five off of two. Uh, Wish Farms blueberries in is it sixteen ounce? Yeah, a pint. Um, buy one get one, so there were four ninety-nine for both of them. These um, Nature Sweet Cherubs, which I can eat this entire container by myself, no problem whatsoever, and it's really cool because it opens up this way. Let me sneak in and grab a few cucumber and dill. And the reason we have labels on these is because I tried to use the, well, I did use the Stop and Shop app. But when we went to check it out, uh, it wouldn't connect to their Wi-Fi. So it was a pain in the you-know-what because we had to re-ring everything, take everything out of the bags already. So the dill was $1.69. I have to put that in some paper towel and a uh, plastic bag in the fridge. It lasts much longer. I could take the labels off of the cucumber. I know it's a cucumber. The <laughs> steam fresh were four for five dollars, and we had a dollar fifty off off of four. So we got broccoli and sweet peas, three bags of peas because we go through peas a lot. Some sauerkraut, uh, some oven roasted turkey. Moses is eating the cat food. Oven roasted turkey. Um, turkey slice, sliced turkey breast for lunch meat. It was on sale, three dollars off. The uh, Stop and Shop fruit bags of is it 12 ounce, yeah, 12 ounce bags were on sale two for five dollars, two for 50 each. Uh, blueberries, peaches, and I must have more in another bag. Um, Kara Kara's, which we adore. These cute little eight ounce palms were a dollar each. I got four of those. A couple of honest iced teas, uh, peach, and what's this one? <laughs> Pomegranate, pomegranate blue flavored herbal tea. Cannot wait to try these out. Some Nature's Promise Organic Extra Firm Tofu. This is new, I had not seen this before. I mean, it's not like it's um, earth shattering, but it's kind of cool. Spaghetti, that is uh, pot size. Pot size spaghetti. It's kind of, it's just broken in half, <laughs> really. <laughs> but it stores easier, I'm not sure. I fell for it, so I got two boxes of those. A couple of these tubes of um, ginger and parsley. And I'm also trying this um, fresh for four weeks chives, lightly dried chives, because I haven't had chives in a while. And then Polly picked up this Kettle Brand potato chips in Buffalo Blue. I'm not sure what the flavor is going to be. But well, we will check it out. So let me put this away and I'll show you the next batch. Ground turkey. Okay, and to be honest, these were not my additions to the shopping cart. Polly's like a child. My husband's like a child. Sometimes I give him something he can pick up for himself. And he decided that when I didn't feel like cooking, he's going to have these for dinner. I usually just have salad. <laughs> but... Slow roasted beef, herb roasted chicken, roasted turkey breast and stuffing, and meatloaf and gravy. Marie calendars. They were $2.50 each. In the scheme of it, I mean, that's better than fast food, I suppose, but still, it's prepackaged food, sodium laden, so I'm not a big fan. <clears throat> Kosher dills from Ma Olive. Um, hood sour cream, Nature's Promise organic apple juice, concentrate low sodium, 64 ounce, and there's the two remaining frozen berries or frozen fruit, uh, dark sweet cherries, which I love the addition of a little bit of cherry, especially with the cacao nibs in my morning drinks. It's like um, 
uh, Black Forest chocolate cake. It's so delicious. And um, both of the, uh, all of the fruit are no sugar added in pineapple chunks. And we got two packages of um, skinless, boneless chicken breast. One of which we'll probably go in the dehydrator tonight for the dogs. And it was $1.49, $1.59 per pound. One will go in the freezer for them for next week or the week after. A few more of the Honest Iced Teas and peach, organic peach and mango herbal, and then the pomegranate and a honey green. Some bumblebee chunk light tuna. Sometimes I just want plain old fashioned tuna salad. Uh, red salmon in a seven and a half ounce container. Yes, there's another container, a package of Oreos. And it's the red velvet with cream cheese flavored cream. I might have bust into these after I put all the food away. <laughs> a little tomato, a can of tomato paste. Catalina dressing, which is Polly's favorite. Um, California olive oil. This is um, mild and buttery extra virgin olive oil. This was $3 off this week at Stop and Shop. Uh, ragu is two for $4? No, I can't remember. It's it's on special, and we had a dollar off of dollar twenty-five off of two. So I got the light with no sugar for uh, that's tomato and basil, and extra flavorful and chunky seven herb tomato. So, and I always alter them, you know. Um, add some more my stuff. I think the rest is all these. So let me put this away, and I'll show you the last of the shopping. Okay, so all these, there were four. No, six more left of these specialty Greek yogurt. Drizzled caramel corn, if you have not yet tried it. I know I've talked about this in the past haul videos. Delicious, so addicting, and a specialty item, so it's not available year round. So we got a few more bags. They're already put away, I just wanna show you one. Limon, potato chips, yes, I craving. Freeze-dried strawberries just look so good. This looks interesting. Quinoa chocolate chip cookie mix. I will check it out. Speaking of quinoa, we got um, red quinoa and this is the uh, is this the organic? Earthly grains. Certified kosher. Oh, maybe it's not organic. I thought it was. Oh. Red quinoa, nonetheless. These are so interesting that I had to try these. I bought all three that they had the variations of the flavors. So this is organic edanami spaghetti shape, organic black bean spaghetti, and organic soybean spaghetti. Now, why does it say shape on the uh, edanami, but not on the other two? Anyway, so the uh, black bean has 88 grams of protein per bag. The soybean, 82. Uh, edanami is... 40% uh, daily of uh, protein. So I'm really looking forward to trying those. And since it was there's this whole Asian section of new products, um, I got water chestnuts, sliced two cans. I also got a jar of bamboo sh uh, shoot sliced. I'll probably use like half a jar each time I make um, stir fry or try one of those. Um, uh, spaghettis. I got a green goddess for myself for tomorrow. Some Parmesan and Romano cheese pre-shredded. It's a star brand. This must have been something my hubby threw in. No idea why. <laughs> Maraschino cherries. And this is also his sardines and mustard sauce. Some of our staple unsalted sweet cream butter. The mushrooms I think were 79 cents. Dirt cheap. And then yummy yummy ciabatta sandwich rolls. So highly recommend them. Um, this past Friday, I think, I made a sandwich with mufalata uh, dressing, the chopped uh, pickled vegetables. Perfect. Did not seep through. It was so good. So, yeah, really great rolls for uh, sandwiches. So, I think there's one more bag left, which was the quick stop at Price Chopper. We got filet mignon, which is already in the refrigerator. A couple of fillets and then I think some fresh bread. So let me put this away and I'll show you the last of it. And I think that might be it for today. <laughs> After the next clip. That is the last of it. Peel and eat shrimp. Uh, how many counts is this? 21, 25 count. It's going in the freezer. Some asparagus will be probably 
two meals worth of sides from there. A, cup, a bag of halos and some Italian cheese bread. And that is going to be it for our monthly shop. Whew. Yeah, I'm tired. I'm going to go watch the Super Bowl. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy your Sunday and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching everyone.